we see different kinds of plants and animals around us. However, there are other living organisms around us which we normally cannot see. These are called microorganisms or microbes. Microorganisms are too small and are not visible with the naked eyes. Microorganisms can be seen with the help of a device called microscope. That's why they are called microorganism. Microorganisms are classified into four major groups. These groups are bacteria, fungi, protozoa and algae. Other than these four categories, viruses are also microscopic but are different from other microorganisms because they reproduce only inside the cells of the host organisms and the host may be a bacterium, plant or animal. They are a connection between living and the non-living. Common ailment like cold, influenza and most coughs are caused by viruses. Serious diseases like polio and chickenpox are also caused by viruses. Bacteria are microscopic single-celled organisms. They exist in every environment both inside and outside other organisms and their number is in millions. Bacteria are known to be the first organisms to appear on earth. They have a very simple cell structure. They have no nucleus and have a cell wall. They have a thread-like structure in the cell wall called flagellum which helps in the locomotion. Fungi can be unicellular or multicellular. They have walls which are made of chitin. They cannot make their own food and are heterotrophic in nature. They decompose the dead plants and animals and extract nutrients from them. Some of the primary forms of fungi are mushrooms, yeast and mold. You must have seen green patches on the moist surface. That is an algae. Algae are simple plants that can range from microscopic to large seaweed. These are unicellular or multicellular organisms. These are green in color and make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. It means these are autotropic in nature. Spirogyra, Chlamydomonas are few examples of algae. Another category of microorganisms is protozoa. Protozoa are single-celled organisms. They come in many shapes and sizes. They live in a vast variety of moist habitats including fresh water, marine environment and the soil. They are parasitic in nature which means they live in other plants and animals including humans where they cause diseases. For example, malaria causing plasmodium. They are motile, it means they can move from one place to another place. They have cilia or flagella which helps them to move. Cilia are tiny hair-like structures that cover the outside of the microbe. They beat in a regular continuous pattern which helps them to move. For example, in case of paramecium. Second is the flagella. Flagellum is a long thread-like structure that extends from the cell surface. The flagella move in a whip-like motion that produce wave which propel the microbe around. Example in Euglena. Amoeba moves with a unique method. We know amoeba has an irregular shape and whenever it sends food around itself, it extends its body outward which is a finger-like projection. This finger-like projection is called pseudopodia or false feet and then amoeba pushes its body forward. It is a crawling-like movement. Hope you enjoyed learning about the microorganisms today. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.